Now that you've finished your crossbow, it's time to build the bolts for it. Now today I'm going to be building a bolt just for this crossbow. This same bolt shouldn't be used in heavier poundage crossbows or compound crossbows, as it may not be able to handle the stresses that those bows will put on it. But this will work just fine for our crossbow. I'm starting with a 3 8 inch poplar dowel. I've cut this to 16 inches long. I like to have it to be at least as long as the draw, if not a little longer. So about 16 to 18 inches is good, and if you're going to use commercial crossbow bolts, I would suggest 16 to 18 inches. When selecting your dowel, you just want to make sure that the growth rings are straight and that the grain is as straight as possible. So now the first thing that I like to do is grind the taper in my tip. I'm going to be using archery target points, so I'm putting a 5 degree yes, a 5 degree taper here so that it'll fit into standard glue-on archery points. Now if you were using say a PEX pile or something else or tying in a point, then it really doesn't matter. Just taper it however you like. I'm going to taper it and I'll show you what that looks like. Alright, I've gone ahead and I've tapered it. And I also went and sanded this back area just so I have a nice smooth transition so it's not a hard transition from here to here because I'm going to be using a smaller point. Now if you were using a point four three eighth inch dowels or three eighth inch shafting then you don't have to do this as drastic. So now that this is done I'm going to prep the back end of the bolt. Now this is important. You want to locate the grain orientation or the growth ring orientation on this dowel. This way the the growth rings are laying down in layers like this. So I want to cut across those layers when making my knock. Now I'm going to do something of a half moon knock on these. So you can see this is where the grain where the growth ring lays flat. So going from this side I'm going to take a half round file and just uh, file right across the face of the knot. Now you could just leave this back end flat and that'll work too. I like having the half moon knocks, but that's just a personal preference. And these knocks also ensure that the, that the string is always going to hit this bolt in the strongest grain orientation. So you can actually see from the end, you can see those little lines. We want to run across those. That's where the strength is going to come from. Now that that's done, I just go ahead and take my file and round off the back end a little bit. And there it is. It's finished. Now I'm going to fletch the bolt. To do that, you're going to need some sort of fletching jig or fletching clamp. This is a simple one, just made out of a piece of PVC pipe that's been flattened. And then I cut one edge off and sanded it flat, so you can see it, it opens a little bit. Now, there are specialty fletching jigs just for crossbow bolts, but I usually just fletch them by hand, especially a two-fletch like this is fairly simple. So you take your jig, you take your feather, slip your feather in, whoops. And I've got a little marking here so I know how far in to put it because I'm going to line this up with the back of my bolt. You can use glue or pretty much anything for this, you could even just tie it down. I'm using fletching tape, so I'm going to go ahead and apply the tape. But with glue, the same thing applies, especially a super glue. You just apply the glue, just a thin bead of glue. Once you've got the glue applied, you just do what I'm about to do with the tape. Alright, to apply this, you want to figure out how the knock is oriented 
And this is the way it's going to sit when it's on the crossbow. So we want the fletchings to come out of the side. So you just take it and line it up on the back and then line it up on the front. Now, because I have right wing feathers, I'm going to put a bit of a an angle to it. I don't know if you can see that this back end is further back this way, the front end is further that way. That way when I put this on, you just push and if you're using super glue you just want to hold it for about 30 seconds until it sets and then you just slide the clamp off. You can see it's not very it's not very noticeable it's fairly minor but you can see there's a little bit of a twist here that'll help the bolt stabilize but these bolts don't really twist a lot they mainly sort of fly like this so now that I have one feather on I'm gonna go ahead and glue the other feather on here's our bolt all fletched up so now I just have to go ahead and glue the point on now I'm going to glue the point onto the bolt I'm just going to be using a glue on archery point. This is just a field point and some hot glue. So. Just heat up the glue, apply it to the point. Heat up the glue that's on the point. Press the point on. And now what I like to do is heat up the point itself. Once the point gets hot, it will help it seat a lot better. There we go. Now you just need to press it against something hard. There it is. Just remove the excess glue. Your bolt is ready to fly. So here's the finished crossbow. Here's some bolts. So I'm going to shoot it real quick for you guys. There it is. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.